welcome to another tutorial from Psycho Trucker on Sped V. Today we are going to have a look at some of the features available to you through Sped V. Today we're going to be using the Steam version which is much easier to install as it will automatically sign you in and log you up. Right, first of all we're going to go for the drive screen where you've got your telemetry you can actually, when you're driving, you will have speed, like the grip bar here will fill up as you go along the route. You need to make sure you've got over 80% of the mileage. You can view your trucks you can drive. You can select them here by clicking the tick if you're going to drive that one, or it will auto select it when you drive. Also on the screen at the bottom here, usually if you play Spotify, Twitch, you'll get all your announcements like it will tell you what song you're playing you've got your time, pause and play the trip and you will have a little speedo bar here when you're driving that will go up and down as you've probably seen on one of my other videos you can start a convoy from up the top here or you can go to the live map which will open up another screen in Google it will also show you any partnerships, any of their drivers that are online driving. You will get a list down here of all the drivers, where they are, what goods they're carrying. And you've got your Steam login up the top, server connection and your telemetry which is this one. You also have this little ladder here as I call it where you can go in, you've got save game manager which you use to adjust your saves when you want to put MP on and stuff like that. You've also got the voice setting here which has lots of different information. When you're driving she will speak out in her dulcet tones like if anyone logs in and out task has been started and ended which is the main ones I use damage report, damage increase, refuels if you're speeding uh, Tempermat, that stands for cruise control, if you use the ferry, Spotify title change, Twitch message or join, traffic goal and still work is up for the train simulator side of it. And next screen will be the task screen which is full of information, you can do dates, you can select a username of an employee to see what they've been doing, a job ID, if there's a problem you can go to individual users for yourself and as you see here you've got a map of the route you've taken, how much miles and how many kilometres from, where to, weight, the weight doesn't always match up to what you're doing in the job and that's just for sort of like truckers MP side of it the costs, how much fuel you used, everything, whether the job's settled on here as well as where the boss or anyone with privileges can click to cat delete the task or settle the task. And onto the money account. If you're the owner you will have three get accounts. You will have your personal account, you will have your ETS account and your ATS account you can click on any one of those you can transfer money between them so say one account account's got loads of money and you want to transfer some to the other so you can do it here by this bottom menu where it says transfer money you just select your different accounts and put in how much you want to put in there also got a diagram you can actually see every single thing you've spent on mainly grocery shopping and that one but then if you're doing jobs like you'll see how much money you've taken how, what you've spent it on if you click on your company accounts you get a lot more detailed information of where all your money's going like currency transfer daily cost of using the system that's only in company by the way <laughs> cost and then if we go down here you might find one with some extra information there we go 
contour tasks if you cancel them just to show you and how much you earn from different things trailer bought, trailer sold, transfer, refueled maintenance, all sorts of information then we'll go on to the contour task screen which is where all the job dealings go on we've got trailers you can have 42 ton 40s 27 depending on what companies you're going to they all take different ones and then you've got all your sort of like partnerships for ETS and ATS you can have simple views the jobs will be displayed at the top which you can pick from this screen which you can search from any city to any city you can even expand it so it gives a wider circle you can put a maximum and minimum weights say if you've got a 42 ton trailer and you want to do multi drops it will deduct the weights from whatever jobs you pick we've got the value so how much it's going to pay date of expiry is the main one to look out for as well because if you pick a job that expires tomorrow and it's 117 tons you're going to be rushing around if it's a long distance you can e either click on these at the top and it will put it in order of those like from high value to low value weight for what you can pick even loads which I haven't found too necessary and then you can even click for only double trailers which are white companies single trailers only is yellow companies which is why you have your distribution storage freight so these are all like places you can store goods like you can take a double trailer into them because I'd always suggest a white and you can transfer it onto a smaller trailer to go out to a small company say if it's got a yellow colour like this we've got the external market in which other companies have put out jobs to tender you can take these which don't pay as much as doing your own jobs but it's handy if you're in a hurry and just think oh yeah I'll just click this down the left here we've got all the DLCs for ETS and extras like southern region rust maps and romania extended which you can also get jobs on and you can then click at the bottom there just change it over to american truck simulator just wait a few seconds for it to load Now we've switched over to the ATS screen. ATS has three different colours. White supports double and single trailer. Yellow supports only single trailer. And blue supports all trailers. And as you can see there's all different weights. So you could add five tons. We've got to do select one destination. We'll say Abbotsford which is at the top. Just wait for it to load in. So you can select your job up the top here say that's only one tons so I'll look on the map to see how far it's going I'll zoom out the contour screen for planning offered freights all have this little map function you can see where your jobs are going to and from if you want to make up a multi drop we're going to Amarillo from Amarillo shall I say so say we've got Stratford all different places like that on the route so you can look at there you can see it's down there at Amarillo so that's in Texas so if we look down here for anything with TX click on that and it'll be somewhere there in Texas that is move it over Midlands, 
crossed in so you could start there if you've got a trailer nearby or make a job up to get to there there's a lot of different options as you can see you can you've got blue to yellow here so you can take a small trailer only to the yellow and take, you can take a big trailer to the pickup point so you could pick up from there you could pick up from there pick up from there drop off at one of your local storage facilities and send it out on smaller trailers so you can make up sort of like trunking runs you've got guys running around with small trailers picking up goods to take to the distribution depot which is your storage space and then running them out on the big truck across the country to another depot and then people take them from there makes it just a more interesting there's lots of DLCs on here can a dream coast to coast Midwest promods Canada island map there are other supported maps which are on the SPEDV website and you've got the external jobs here tells you companies are by whether they're ready true means they're ready false means not yet so maybe you're picking up that trailer there going to there then once you get there that will go true because the next part's ready you can either search for jobs you can do origins there's so many different functionalities here and you've got my load screen where it allows for your save games you can edit your save games add your jobs to the save games and so on and we'll go on to the company screen now well first of all we've got all, I've got all my staff members sort of ranks and stuff like basic drivers you can give them different colors give them different rights so they can do different things like we can have a transport manager a driver manager any rank you want to do you've got inactive so if the guys on holiday you can select a vacation down here so you don't get charges then you've got the bonus screen where you can add bonuses for your drivers so if they do a certain amount of miles they get a bonus without damage so many selections then you go onto the branch screen which is where all your trucks are stored as you can see here you can put your own custom pictures on there you can upgrade your branch so it's like 50,000 then 1,600 a month on the rent sell your trucks change who's going to drive the trucks which depot they're at right these are all virtual you you match them up to what your driver's driving and then you don't get charged rental fees you've got your ATS trucks as well so you'll have a branch on each map and then you've got your servicing screen where all your trucks tells you what's going to be needed and when what the mileage is on now how long it takes and how much it costs makes it more realistic because you I was driving along the other day and I got a yellow warning come up at the end saying that I had a stone chip on my windscreen so the truck had to go in to have that replaced I just used one of the spare trucks at the time just more realism then you've got the applications just for people applying and you can also add partnerships so that you can do give them different permissions to add to trailers jobs all sorts of different bits depending on what you want and then we'll click on the name which will take us to the other screen which as you see here you can get statistics of your whole company the worldwide statistics see where you are in the positions how high up the rankings you are you've got convoy list which tells you all the convoys an inventory so where your drivers they're out earning money you're actually paying them a wage which you set how much you want to pay and they can use their money to buy virtual goods like cars a boat DJ equipment for some reason 
uh, furniture, whatever that is. Looks like some sort of football thing. And we've got phones, um, house, pets, motorbikes, washing machine, all sorts of stuff you can buy. So it just gives them something to earn their money and buy with what they've earned. Just to make it a bit more realistic. And I think I've gone over the save game manager and the voice settings already. And that's about it for this. And hope you will join the Spedbee group.